All right, so now we're in the booth. Man, I love being in the booth. This is where all the magic happens. This is where all great projects start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to set up your gun and how to spray Organisol so you can get the top of the line finished results. I've got the SADA Jet 3000 RP. So this is a little bit different than your standard HVLP because it's gonna push out a little bit more material. So you might have to make an adjustment if you're using an HVLP. What I've done is I've got my Organisol shaken up and I'm constantly moving it around to keep it blended and I'm going to set up the gun, the air pressure. That's the first thing you want to do. But before you can set the air pressure, you need to have the gun set up on what I call bullets. So there's basically two ends of the pattern that you can adjust your gun to. Every gun is going to have some sort of air adjustment, and this is a throttle. We're just leaving everything at full throttle, and it's going to have a fan adjustment. So this is going to adjust the fan. Let me show you what I've got here. So right off the bat, I've got a fairly wide pattern. That's a normal fan when you're going to spray a car or spray something that you want nice, even 50% overlap. We're going to do just the opposite of that. We're going to go to what I call a bullet pattern. Now, a bullet pattern is, it's scary. Most people never would use a bullet pattern because it puts out so much ink. It literally, you just pull the trigger and you're going to end up with so much ink, so much ink, so much paint, it's going to start dripping. It's, it's just a ton of concentration in a very small area. So I call that the bullet. That's what we want. We're actually going to paint the whole Organisol hood, deck, uh, if you paint the tail panel or, or, or the AAR fenders, or if you're painting stripes on like a GTX, you're going to want to use the bullet pattern. And you can see already, just that little bit of paint and it's already dripping. So, I'm going to show you how to set the gun up and I'm going to show you how to paint so you get top end results. So we've got it on bullet. That's key. The next thing is we're going to set up the air. Now I have my air. It's right here on my gun. So I can adjust it using the gauge inside my gun. A lot of times you'll have a gauge right before the gun where you can make the adjustments. I prefer not to have anything in my way so when I'm painting the, 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 core, you know, the air hose isn't any longer. It doesn't get in my way. So I like this Sada Jet for that reason that it's got the built in gauge. So what I'm going to do is I want to show you something here. When I put this to fan, and I have it just pulled on fan, I'm getting 20. So I got 20 PSI. If I simply change it to bullet, you're going to see that that pressure goes to 32. That's why you have to have it set to bullet first. If you set the air pressure and then adjust that, you're gonna be adjusting your air pressure too. So make sure you got it set to bullet. And then what I like to do is I shoot this at 32 PSI, but if you have a different gun that maybe sprays a little different than a SADA, I've done it with a, a buddy's Iwata Supernova, it worked great. Just find the air pressure. If anything, you might wanna step up from there. I've had good success from 32 to 35. So I'm gonna start at 35 and then I'm going to put the camera outside and, and show you some techniques on how I'm doing it. So let me double check this. Okay, so I like where I've got it. And what you're going to see me do when I start painting this hood is you're going to see me doing some dust circles, what I call dust circles, and they're going to be done from about four feet away. So when I say four feet, I mean really, really four feet. So if that's my material, my hood, deck, you know, the tail panel, whatever I'm spraying, I want to be four feet away. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I call those dust circles. So I'm going to draw a little circle, and I'm going to work my way around just like that. So when I'm painting the hood, I'm doing these little, little circles from four feet away. And just like you would normally paint, you just work your way back and forth, back and forth, all the way down, doing those little dust circles. When you get done, stop, let it dry. Do two or three coats. Depending on the temperature, you might want to give it 10, 15 minutes. You can give it half hour, an hour. You can go too quick. If it's still wet and, you still, and then you start going again, that's no good. You want to let it have a chance to dry because you're going to build up some of that texture and layers. So let's uh, get the camera moved out and I'm going to get the booth turned on and we're going to give this a shot.
All right, guys, so that's dust circles, four feet away. Oh, man, that hood looks good. I can't wait to show you the finished product, but that's how you do it. Get back, get that bullet pattern, use that mix that I showed you at the start of this video, and man, you're gonna be really, really, really happy with the way it turns out. So I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna put two or three, well, one or two more coats on it. It's already got one, so we'll see how it looks, and then I'll show you the finished results in a second. Well, here it is, guys, the finished results. I'm all done. I added two more coats after that first coat for a total of three, and it looks perfect. I absolutely love the way it turned out. Zero tiger stripes, absolutely no blotching. The perfect sheen and just the right amount of texture. It's got the right look. And this is super easy to take care of. Now I can take my detailing spray, I can wipe down the hood, I don't have to worry about catching the rag on too much texture or if a little bit of wax gets on it, it'll wipe right off. Absolutely stunning results. Use this technique, guys. Use the dust circle. Step back four feet. Put your gun on bullet and give it a shot. Use the texture and the, the matte mixture that I gave you, and I think you'll be really, really happy with it. Now, some of you might have noticed that I did paint the, the TA wing. This normally would not be painted organosol. This is something I'm trying this time that I've really wanted to do. I like the look of it. It's still got that nice flat look and this texture is so subtle. It looks so good. If, uh, if I put it on the car and it's not what I want, I'll, uh, I'll take it back down to a natural finish, but I'm going to give it a shot, see how it looks on the car. So there you go, guys. Organosol in single stage. This is with the hardener. This is going to last forever. This is a very, very, very durable paint. So good luck. Try it out. Let me know how it works for you guys. Take care, and I'll uh, hopefully make another video sometime soon.